Next, let's talk about the monitor. If you have a monitor that's not working, first check it to see if maybe the sleep or screensaver is on. Most of the time, you just hit a few keys on the keyboard, move the mouse. If that works, then you've solved the problem. Check the indicator light on the monitor itself. Typically, if it's lit up in green, that means everything is good. If it's not lit up at all, you may want to check and see if the power connection is actually supplying power to the monitor. Also, check and see if the connection is loose on the back, um, and also press the button. Uh, pressing the button uh, may be all that you need to actually turn the monitor on. Check the monitor controls. The monitor controls are there on the front of the monitor, and they can be adjusted to the point where you can no longer see anything on the screen. So play around with those and see if that is actually the problem. Uh, check both the power connection and the connection to the system unit. If the uh, power or the system unit is not connected to the monitor, it's not going to display what it's supposed to. If all of that didn't fix the problem with the monitor, you can try what's called the known good test. Basically there, you take a monitor that you know is good, replace it with a monitor that currently is not working, and if that new monitor works there, then you know that the monitor itself has gone bad in some way or is not functioning correctly. And if that new monitor, that known good monitor, has been put in its place and it does not work, then you know that there's, there's some other problem. The monitor itself is probably fine and it's just the system which is not supplying the signal for the uh, monitor act to actually work. The keyboard and the mouse are often problems. First thing to check is see if they're clean. If they're not clean, that can cause a variety of issues. It can cause a keyboard to stick or the mouse to not read correctly. You also want to check the connections. Make sure that both of these devices are connected to the system unit. And uh, if they're not, or if they don't seem to be completely connected, can reconnect them and restart the machine. That probably will fix the problem. If none of these work, you can try the known good test here as well. Take a known good keyboard and replace it with a keyboard that doesn't seem to be working and see if that works. Uh, you can also try a known good mouse in a place of a mouse that's not working and see if that works. That will let you know if the individual mouse or the individual keyboard has gone bad. If the replacement works fine, then you know the keyboard may not be working. By far the most troublesome hardware is often the printer. The printer can have a variety of problems, but there are some ways to actually narrow down and find out exactly what the issue is. First thing to do, check the display, see if it's online and ready to print. Check the connections on the machine. Uh, make sure that the, the power is getting to the unit, make sure that the uh, network cable or the printer cable has not gotten disconnected from the printer. If either of those have happened, it will not get the signal, so it cannot print. Another problem that you often have is a printer jam. Uh, this happens when the print uh, paper gets stuck somewhere in the printing device. Uh, most of the time, you'll have to um, just try to move it out of there. Uh, when it gets stuck, try to get a firm grip on the paper and just slowly pull it out and in general that w will help you actually clear the jam and so that the machine will work once again. Another issue you may have is a print quality problem. In other words, the print is not coming out well. It may be light or it may be smudged in some way. Most of the time uh, that can be corrected uh, by either replacing the uh, toner. The toner may not be coming out of that unit of the toner cartridge correctly and uh, you can often replace the toner cartridge and that will fix a uh, printer quality problem. Uh, another thing you can do is replace the paper. Sometimes the paper has gotten moist and if the paper gets moist and is going through the unit it can cause smudges. So those are two things to check there. Another problem that may occur is a software problem with the printer. Uh, unfortunately there's not much a CSL can do here. Uh, the IT services can reinstall the printer driver so that it will work correctly.